you know somebody that might be suffering from indigestion problems, heartburn, what's called GERD, ulcers, dysphagia. If you know people like those uh, that, that deal with those kinds of conditions, I want you to make sure you're going to send them this information because this could be highly valuable to helping them get beyond those kinds of things. And everybody knows what indigestion is, food that maybe doesn't digest properly. Uh, GERD is uh, an abbreviation for uh, gastroesophageal reflex disease, GERD, G-E-R-D. Uh, ulcers, that's, um, you know, uh, uh, some kind of um, uh, lesion that happens on the stomach maybe, or dysphagia, difficulty swallowing. All of that has to do with our and intestinal tract, okay? And the reason why I'm, as, as a chiropractor, talking about this is because I want to I want to actually make a connection here about what we could potentially do to help you. And I'm so glad you uh, clicked onto this page to read up about this and to, and to listen to what I might be sharing about this. But because of that, the, the workings of our uh, digestive system that runs from the mouth down to your bottom, it's a whole track of a tube, right? And one of the key problems with the conditions that I talked about that really um, uh, is at the height of a lot of the issues is because dehydration. Dehydration is where we just don't get enough water. And water is very, very important. When we're born, our bodies are about 90% uh, hydrated. As a healthy adult, uh, we're about 75%. And what can happen is over a period of time, our thirst mechanism gets down-regulated meaning that it's not as sensitive and over a period of time we become subtly dehydrated and studies are showing today that 80 to 90 percent of our population is dehydrated dehydrated to a certain level and that itself can affect the digestive process because it's very very important uh, to have that they, they say actually you can be as little as five percent dehydrated and still have a wet mouth your salivary glands can actually be secreting even with being 5% dehydrated, but it will definitely affect that whole digestive process. And so um, the reason as a chiropractor, you know, most the, the standard medical approach with uh, these kinds of conditions are drugs. People that uh, are on things like Tagamet, Zantac, uh, Prilosec, Nexium, Prevacet. Those are drugs that tend to help adjust the um, the secretion of acid in the stomach, and back to the, the topic of GERD, this reflux condition, it's usually not an overproduction of acid, uh, which is what they're trying to do with giving you uh, antacids or um, uh, drugs that will actually suppress the secretion of the acid. It's actually a lack of acid in your, uh, in your stomach. And why that can uh, cause the reflux is because what happens is, Without that acid, the food sits in your stomach and it doesn't fully get digested, and then it backs up. Just like if you flush the toilet paper roll down the toilet and you flush it again, the water is going to come back up. And so it's usually not the, uh, the uh, too much acid, it's usually a lack of acid. And how that plays into chiropractic is because your nerve system, which is protected by your spine and your uh, the bones of your, your back, right, the spinal column, it, they can shift out of position, affecting the nerves that go to the intestinal tract, and it can cause an interruption in that sequence and the whole digestive process. So uh, we have a number of testimonials of people that have actually come under chiropractic care for maybe some back-related issues and notice that their digestive issues went away after that. So you would be very well served if you know people that are dealing with these kinds of things to get them to a good chiropractor that would check on that uh, alignment of the spine, making sure the nerve system is free of interference, correcting these subluxations and allowing their health to return. And again, going back to the importance of proper uh, hydration habits. And what is that? Uh, if you go on the Mayo Clinic website, it will say that the proper amount is eight, eight ounce glasses or about 64 ounces of water but everybody's different sizes, shapes, you're working in different environments, you might be uh, working in a hotter environment where you perspire more, that kind of thing. So you might need more uh, hydration. So the new protocol for water is half your body weight in ounces. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you should be drinking a minimum of 100 ounces of water a day. Most people fall way short of that. We are getting liquids, but we're getting things like coffee, tea, 
pop. Those actually can be somewhat okay to drink on a limited level, but they have dehydrating factors in them, which can die, uh, they're called diuretics, which actually dry your body out. And so that's why water is so incredibly important. So hope this addresses some of those concerns and glad you're getting tuned in. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Uh, or if you're not on our website, please visit our website at Kenty's Chiropractic uh, or Kenty's Chiro.com. And glad that you're tuning into this, uh, ep uh, this episode of What Care is Right for You. Glad you could join us. Thank you.